Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In the previous video that you can check by clicking in the top right corner right now, I showed you how you can completely change and customize the scene of your Microsoft Teams meeting by using OBS tool Open Broadcaster software, which is even a powerful screen recorder tool and NDI tool. Now I want to show you a different method which basically gives you the ability to achieve this kind of result. Look at this. Now, if I switch on the second one, on the second scene that I created, the content will change according. So I can now move my camera because... Cool, right? Let's go and I'll show you every step how you can use the virtual camera of OBS. Here I am on my PC and I have the browser open. I am in the website of OBS Studio. This is the URL. And here you have three options according with the machine where you are working on. I'm working on Windows. So then if I want to install this software, I have to click on this button. This will start to download the .exe file to install this software. Now I already have done this step. You can do by yourself. It's pretty straightforward. Now let me open OBS because I want to show you now how you can build several scene and share this scene directly in, in a Microsoft Teams meeting through the virtual camera. I have here the latest version of OBS, which includes the, the virtual camera. So there is the option here available. This means that this feature is built in. In the previous version of OBS, this was a plugin, but Luckily, now it's fully integrated in OBS Studio. You don't need to, to follow an extra step to install this plugin. Okay, now I want to set up two scenes. In the first scene of OBS, I will set up basically a text with a background video loop. And finally, I will present a little bit bigger in the center of the screen. In the second scene, I will share a PowerPoint presentation and I want to put myself also with a webcam on the, on the screen. I'll show you now how you can do that. If you want to create a new scene, you have to click on this plus button. Now you have to decide the name of this scene. I will call it Teams Meeting Intro. Now I have a new scene available here. All I need to do now is build sources. I have to put basically objects in this scene. In order to do that, you have to click on the plus button. Now, as I said, I want to add a video loop background behind me. In order to do that, you have to select media source. I can leave the name, it's fine. Video loop, luckily I already have now this video. I will select this one, open, and I want to enable the loop of this video. Clicking on OK, I have now this nice and gorgeous video background loop. Let me properly size this video in order to cover entirely the screen. OK, now I want to add an other text and you have always to click on the plus button and then text. Finally, I will type welcome to my session. Okay, clicking on OK and this is this basically is the title of these sources. Uh, I will type welcome to my session. Then you can set the font if you want. You have extra extra options here available the color the opacity the gradient the background opacity you have extra options that are nice to play with it now let me select Calibri which is my favorite font okay now I have this header I want to put here you can even 
center this easily by clicking with the right button of the mouse then transform and finally there is center horizontally here we go now lastly i want to add my webcam clicking again on the plus button in the sources section you can add video capture device the name is fine for me and now here we go hi there is here my webcam and as you can see here i have a background screen i have a green screen behind me and what i can do here basically i can completely make transparent this color this basically is the reason why we work with green screen now uh, let me just resize this this window and here we go i think so it's fine and now i will crop a little bit this window in order to to reduce the the green space here in order to do that you have to keep pressing the key alt and then you can resize and crop this box it's fine so here we go perfect i can even make it a little bit bigger yes it's fine so and now let's let's do the magic so we want to now make transparent the green color in order to do that you have to click with the right button on this source video capture device and then filters in the effect filters on the plus icon you can add the chroma key the name is fine and so basically here we go the green color is already transformed in transparent color and you can even adjust here some options because we can see that there is some green spills here and you can adjust this by moving this slider key color spill reduction so you can try to maximize a little bit this and I think it's it's fine it's better now I can close now and so here we go I I set up the transparent the transparent behind me perfect so the first scene it works great now it's time to to add a second scene which will be teams meeting presentation here we go now let's start again to set up some sources and we can add window capture i will add a window just a window here i want to i want to select a powerpoint presentation so now we can leave as is it's completely we have a black black screen but it's not important for a moment i will add again a video capture device because I want to add my face as well in this during my presentation. Let me crop again this box. You can do that by keep pressing the key Alt. Here we go. And now I will add here my face. Okay, so we set up two scenes. And so theoretically, I am ready to go. And I can start to move to the first scene. And now let's open Microsoft Teams. So all you need to do is open the settings of Microsoft Teams and in devices you can check in camera if you have the OBS virtual camera. If you don't have this option available, maybe it's good that you, after the installation of this software, you restart your machine. And this item should show up here in this drop down list under camera so selecting now obs virtual camera we can see that we are not sharing we don't have nothing here and that's the reason why is that i not yet started the virtual camera so i can close now this one and before to start a virtual camera and to share the scenes that I created in OBS, 
I will open a PowerPoint presentation. So let me open this tab. I already opened here OneDrive and I have here a PowerPoint presentation. Opening this PowerPoint presentation, I'm able to start the presentation directly from here. I, I even enabled here the live caption. This means that we will have transcripts in place. I made a video how you can do that. Click on the on top of the right corner right now if you want to go deeper and I can start to present now. So now the PowerPoint presentation is started and I can switch back now on OBS. The transcripts is started to work. Now switching on OBS, if I go in the second scenes that I created, we can see now that we have the PowerPoint presentation already available here. And if you click on this source, basically if you double click, you can open, uh, this is the video capture, but I want to open the window capture. You can select the video capture here, and then here you can select the window that you want to share. In this case, I'm sharing Microsoft Edge and I'm sharing this tab where I have my PowerPoint presentation. So it works fine. You can add the window that you want, of course. Okay, it's pretty, pretty good. And we can start to work with Microsoft Teams. It's time to start a meeting. So I am here now in this team, Global HR, in the general channel. I will start a meeting directly from here. So there is the virtual camera now that is disabled, basically. There's nothing here. All I need to do now is opening OBS. I am ready to share what we see here. And I have just to click on the start virtual camera here. Now, switching back on Microsoft Teams, we see now the scene that we created. Pretty cool. Now we have a problem here. The, the content here is flipped. Basically, this is the behavior of Microsoft Teams. We have this mirror effect. I don't really know the reason. We should explore much more how it works Microsoft Teams, and this is not possible from our side. We can just wait that Microsoft Team Microsoft fix this, this thing. But don't worry, because participants to the meeting will see the content in the right way, will be correctly flipped in order to read the text and in order to read properly the, the content that you share with the virtual camera. Now, what I'm gonna do is basically mute myself because I'm recording as well and I want to avoid audio conflict. Then I will join the meeting. And now basically the meeting will start. Here we go. And if I switch on the second scene that I created, the content in Teams will change according. So I am now showing the PowerPoint presentation with me here. This is very, very cool. Let me just switch back on the Teams meeting intro. So it's time now to, to join the, the meeting with a different, with a different user, Ligu. Let me open again Microsoft Teams. And I will join the meeting now with another user, which is Ligu, with her smartphone. I'll show you now that I am connected as Ligu here on her smartphone. And I have here the classic icon with the camera. And this is telling me that there is, there is a meeting. I can join directly the meeting from here. Join now. And now, Basically, we, we are seeing the content that I created in OBS. So I created the first, the first slide and the first scene on, uh, on OBS. And so this is what Ligu is seeing or in her smartphone. Now, if I switch on the second one, on the second scene that I created, 
the content will change according. So I can now move my camera because this is the, the main window. I can move my camera because this is a little bit overlapped with I can move in this other area and here we go. Now my camera is here. So and Ligu is basically following the, the session. Now I can easily go on my PowerPoint presentation and I can I can move forward into the next slide and this will change according. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can use the virtual camera of OBS in order to customize the scene of your Microsoft Teams meeting. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!